Are they done? Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. Hey, it was salame, baba club papier, it was salame, zinzal bim, it was salame, hey, hey. Hey. Hi guys, my name is Indigo and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Considering you guys are about to see a lot of my personality on a TV show in two weeks, April 24th, y'all, on James Charles' channel, but anyways, I thought it'd be really fun and really different to try a Q&A with you guys. You guys are definitely gonna get to know me on this show, however, there are just some things that you guys will not know unless you directly ask me, so that is exactly what I'm doing today. Before I even get started, I want to thank you guys for the amount of questions that you guys sent me. This is absolutely ridiculous but I love it so much thank you guys so much for all the wonderful questions I will not be answering any of the questions that pertain to the show just because there are things that I just simply cannot say so if you don't see one of your questions answered here don't feel bad I'm definitely gonna do this again in the future but since there are so many I'm only gonna answer some of the really juicy ones today Alrighty, let's get started honestly I'm down okay so I'm gonna kick it off really juicy and the first question is how was it like to meet James now I'm not gonna get too into it but he was very sweet very down-to-earth just like everybody else and I absolutely love everybody that was on the show they are just amazing people overall and there was never a dull moment on stage set at all it was always so much fun and James is exactly like he presents himself on camera he is super fun and outgoing but also really down to earth and just really chill what advice would you give to someone who is just starting in the makeup industry also let me know if you guys want me to start reading out the names when I do these types of Q&A's in the future I'm not gonna do it in this video because I want to respect your guys's privacy but just let me know if you guys want that little shout out in the future and I definitely will I got a lot of questions actually asking me this type of like question and honestly I don't even know why you guys are asking me this because girl I don't even have a platform <laughs> Honestly, I've just gotten really lucky in terms of like the game. I've only been doing this for about a year. You know, I really wish I could tell you guys like some type of like magical formula, like the secret recipe. But the reality is I don't, I don't really have one. <laughs> and I have a lot of friends in the industry and we all kind of just agree that we can tell you what we've done, but we can't promise that what we've done will work for you. I think the main things that I can tell you guys is to have a consistent schedule and follow it. When you make a routine, you create a habit and that also goes for the people seeing you in your feed. So when they don't see in your feed one day, they're kind of like, what is going on? You know, so if you have a routine yourself, you're gonna make it a habit for other people to follow up with your own routine, if that makes sense. Also, just being attentive to your audience and replying and acknowledging them and thanking them for things, you know, socializing on social media, <laughs> a concept, especially on Instagram because the algorithm kind of finds out who are your close friends based on interactions in the DMs and on comments. So the people that you interact with the most are the ones that will be most likely seeing your feed. So the more people that you interact with, the better. Ooh, I'm like TED talking you guys, wow. Who is your favorite beauty guru? Me. Next question. Ooh, okay, yeah. Let me actually just address this. What are your pronouns? Obviously this person means no harm. And the majority of people that I have encountered asking me this question also don't mean any harm. I am a cis male, which basically means I was born a guy and I still identify as a guy. And I don't really plan on changing that anytime soon in the foreseeable future. <laughs> I don't struggle with identity things. Yeah, I am not transgender, I'm not a girl, not non-binary. It's perfectly fine to be those things, but I just don't identify with that at all. When did you decide you wanted to pursue makeup? By the way, love you. I love you too, oh my God. So other people ask me like, what age did I start? And when did I start like getting into makeup? When did I try makeup for the first time? And the answer is October of 2017. What was last year? 2018, I don't even know what year we're in. <laughs> what was I last year? 17, I'm, I'm 18 years old. So I started doing makeup when I was 17. <gasps> okay, so I, I like the way that this person worded it, but there's also other couple people who asked this as well. How do you react to the wickedness of people who insult you? I love how intense that word was. I'm gonna start using that, wickedness. That was great. How do I react? I mean, people can't typically say shit about me and I don't get too irritated about it because I know how easy it is to judge somebody from a screen. Cause I know I've definitely judged my fair share of people on the internet, you know, before I actually made this my job and I started realizing, wait, like these are actually people behind the screen. So I get it. I don't really take it personally when people say anything about me because I know that they don't understand that I am a real person. And I try to remind myself of that. And I also really try to remind myself that there are plenty of more people who are more than ready and willing to support me 
and I don't think it's fair for me to just acknowledge the negative and completely disregard all the positive things that so many people that actually care about me think. Because at the end of the day, I should be paying attention to the people that are supporting me every single day and I know will always be there for me instead of the people that will never change their opinion on me no matter what I do. Like RuPaul has said before, if they don't pay your bills, you don't pay them, no mind. Period. Oh, okay. Can we get more of a life story? Yes, not right now, but soon. A couple of you guys know like the simple rundown that I gave in my audition, but I've never really actually talked about it since, just because I didn't really feel like it was the time or the place to talk about it. But I can definitely feel that the time and place is approaching. I am a lot more than just a pretty face on Instagram. I'm a lot more than just a comedic person on YouTube and I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life and I definitely feel like it's my job to educate people on my experiences and my past. So that way people that are going through the same thing can also know that they're not alone and also for other people to just get educated and enlightened on that topic. So you'll most definitely see a couple of those videos coming out soon. I don't know when, but soon. Where do you get your inspiration? Like I've said before, I get my inspiration a lot from anime and video games and pop culture type of stuff. I don't really get inspired too much from the beauty industry just because, um, quite frankly, it's just not my gig. <laughs> I'm not too immersed in it. So I wasn't even kidding when I was saying that I take a lot of inspiration from like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Fire Emblem, um, what other games? I've definitely been getting into like a vogue kind of editorial vibe recently with like black smoky eyes and stuff and I'm <laughs> Which look would you like to create but are too scared to? <sighs> I've been dying to turn into the eyeless monster from Pan's Labyrinth, but I would really want to do it justice like look like the creature to a T, not just like face paint like I'd want like a, the whole cast like silicone like make the entire creature with like the eyes on the hands and stuff. Either that or make like my own animatronic bodysuit of some sort. I'm not gonna give away what because I'm actually planning on doing this look eventually and I don't want anybody to steal my idea, but definitely like some type of like cinematic worthy special effects thing that just completely transforms me from a human to like I'm definitely scared of doing that because that would take a lot of effort and if I failed that would really suck because a lot of time and money would go into that. But um, I don't know. I think I'll be ready soon. How did you feel when you got chosen by James for his show? Okay, <laughs> there was like two phases of this. The first one was, all right, dope. Like, I'm down, like, I'm so excited. Especially because when I first auditioned, I didn't really think I was gonna get chosen until it popped off and then I was like, I think I'm gonna get chosen. <laughs> when I got that email, I literally cried. Like, my friend Ashley literally thought I was like, having a mental breakdown, like it was like that. <laughs> and then like the second phase was like kind of like when it kicked in, James Charles is aware that my audition exists. He watched the audition and he chose me to be on his show. So that was dope. Many emotions were felt when I got cast in this for sure. Do you get PR and stuff or do companies send you stuff in general? If not, they're crazy. <laughs> That's cute. You guys are literally so sweet. Like all of these start off with like, love you. Or like little emojis and you got it the sweetest. Yes and no, um, I do get PR, but I'm nowhere near the level of other people who like get like 10 packages a day and like they can post them on their story and they're like, thanks, 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 thanks. That was me like throwing like 12 boxes into, okay. Anyways, you know, being realistic here, I am very small and I am barely considered an influencer. Me being considered an influencer is like a reach. I mean, who knows when you guys are watching this, but right now as I'm filming this, I consider myself more as an aspiring influencer or, you know, content creator, just because like influencer has like such a weird reputation around it. <laughs> so to answer your question, yes, but not many, but it's still dope when I do. I, I really appreciate it. Ooh, okay. If I'm starting with face paints and doing more creative things, what should I buy? Okay, awesome. I would highly encourage you to start investing in very precise brushes, specifically paint brushes. Like this is the most precise makeup brush that I have. Look at the head and then look at the head of this one. Look how different that is. I would leave the link for this one, but I really don't recommend these in particular because they shed a lot. But well, you can search up on Amazon, find tip brushes. I highly recommend that you do splurge on those 
and you actually don't splurge on makeup itself. I'll talk about that more in depth in a different video because it's there's a lot more to it than just that. And also, if you're gonna do face paints, I highly recommend the Mehron Paradise paints. If you guys have followed me for a while, you guys know that I basically just live by these. You guys can literally do anything you want with these at all. I put these on my eyes all the time. I put these on my lips. Um, they say you shouldn't. So, I, uh, you know, do it with your own, <laughs> at your own risk. But um, I put them on there. Don't do things that packaging tells you not to do. But you know, I do it. Do you believe in ghosts? And if so, have you seen one? Chat. <laughs> Do I have a story for y'all? You know what? No, that deserves its entire own video. <laughs> but let's just say I am suspicious. I'm onto them. So we'll talk about those later in the future. <laughs> do you have a secret partner? Because you hella fine. <laughs> Thanks. I do not have a partner and I'm not really looking for one right now. Mainly because I am really busy and despite the fact that like the job that I do requires me being really quirky and really funny and really comedic and really creative. I take this very seriously, almost a little too seriously. I'm always working, I'm always editing, I'm always filming, I'm always doing something to push out content. So I never really have free time for a personal life. That's just my personal choice. And I just feel like if I had a partner, it wouldn't really be fair to them because I would not be as attentive as I would like to be. So I'm open to the idea of a relationship, but it's kind of unrealistic. <laughs> Snap? You're welcome. I am not funny. Oh my god, okay. How do you stay motivated and have patience while doing makeup? That is a wonderful question and I ask myself that all the time. What you guys see as 10 or 11 minutes can easily become like four to like seven hours because I just procrastinate my entire life away. But what definitely motivates me after I've started doing my makeup is the fact that I cannot go back now because I will literally have wasted my entire time and day. My laziness motivates me and my laziness is the reason that I have patience. All right, so I'm gonna do two more questions and that is it because I think I've done a lot already for this video. <laughs> Were you ever camera shy and how would you overcome it? I don't think I was ever camera shy. I just think I was awkward in front of the camera, but I've always had a personality in front of the camera just because ever since from a young age, child, I have always had a camera or a phone pointing at me, making stupid little videos and always like doing something weird. It was always something. I always wanted to do something in the entertainment industry. At first I wanted to be an actor and then I wanted to be in the music industry. And I like, I still do, but you know, uh, <laughs> Anyways, and then when I got into makeup and I wanted to start filming on YouTube, all my acting skills basically just kind of like played into role and it was like, I'm not gonna lie and say that my first couple videos were not weird as hell. Um, they don't even exist, <laughs> they don't even exist anymore, y'all. Even now, after every single video that I do, I get more and more comfortable with the camera. Like right now, it feels like I'm talking to a friend, even though this is literally just a piece of plastic that I'm talking to. A very expensive, Piece of plastic, might I add. In terms of overcoming it, I definitely think that just continuing to practice and turn on the camera and, you know, either post it or don't. Like, pretend you're gonna post it and you edit it and you get better in front of the camera. Continue to practice and practice and practice. Alrighty guys, so this is the last question. I'm just gonna wrap things up. And the question is, this is for Rachel, you big fat. This is for Rachel, you big fat, white, nasty, smelling. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you retake your photos very often? Absolutely. Any picture that you see on my Instagram or as a thumbnail for anything, even my videos, I've probably retaken so many of these shots and you guys have no idea. When I'm taking pictures, I kid you not, I take 300 pictures minimum for every single makeup look that I do. And then those pictures go through a process of elimination, basically like the X factor, and they'll have like the top three, and then I'll narrow that down to the final one. And then that final one goes into the editing process. They are definitely super scripted and definitely super manipulated. So that way my art and myself can be represented at their peak. I can say with confidence that everybody in the makeup industry and even people out of it do the same thing. Even the way that I look like right now, I don't look at this all the time because the reality is, is that these people don't look like that 24 seven. So don't expect yourself to look like that 24 seven either. And that is perfectly okay. Wow, okay, so that was actually a very good question to end things off with. 
All right, well, that's it, y'all. If I didn't get to your question, and don't worry, this is not the last time that I'm doing a Q&A, and I will definitely get to your question in the next one. Thank you guys so, so, so much for sending in your questions, and thank you guys so much for your love and support. You guys literally have no idea how much it actually means to me that you guys are here and you guys are active and you guys are present you know like we're growing like not just me like us like as a community and that makes me so 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 excited for the future so anyways that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like my art if you guys like my energy please like comment and subscribe and follow me on my instagram down below if you don't already and i will see you guys in the future all right bye guys